Hello again. So I'm aware that all of a sudden I'm putting up quite a few more videos and um, that's also kind of the case on Facebook that I'm posting quite a lot and I am usually the person who does not post very much on anything um, and especially during this time I've surprised myself a lot by doing exactly that. Uh, however, I would like to share with you an idea that I've had um, which is obviously this um, channel has kind of come and gone in terms of how much I've used it and put up videos and how helpful it might be. Um, but I am considering putting up a lot more videos over the next few weeks as things unfold um, to offer support for others with eating disorders in particular and with mental health uh, problems. Um, and I thought that these videos could include things like maybe live feeds no pun intended of um like meal times maybe if i told you i was going to schedule i don't know say um every day at 5 p.m uk time a uh, dinner feed and that would be to kind of encourage that togetherness and we're all eating it would help me obviously actually manage food that i need to manage um and it's easier for me to manage things that are difficult if i feel that i am supporting others to do the same Whereas if I'm just left by myself and nobody knows what I'm eating, then it's a lot more difficult. Uh, so partly to do with that, and we can kind of eat together. Um, and I would make sure that those meals, by the way, are a normal sized portion of carbohydrate, a normal sized portion of protein, a normal sized portion of, you know, fruit or veg um, and a fat source. And that would be absolutely vital. And I would really 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 support others to do the same as me for that um and uh, along with that obviously kind of um putting up supportive content about specific topics um general questions and answers so if you put questions or anything like that in the comments below then i will try to answer them in my videos and hopefully we can cover some topics that you know, a lot of people may well have questions that are all quite similar, but they don't know who to ask or how to ask. And although I am not the be all and end all and know all the answers to every question, at least I can discuss them. And at least um, there'll be a lot more heads and brains on it and thinking about it and talking it through than just you sat with the question by yourself, because that's difficult. Um, and... Um, Obviously also kind of sharing my own experiences of what's difficult and what helps during this time, as well as hopefully reading through some of yours and if you're willing to share, then kind of talking through them as well um, and what helps you. Um, and obviously reading each other's comments is always really helpful because I can't put everything in the videos. Um, and yeah, all of this to just try to discourage people from feeling like they're alone in these very difficult times. Um, and to support each other while other services, eating disorder services, mental health services are obviously lessened or stopped right now. Um, and that's my kind of idea. So let me know if you think it's helpful. Let me know if you have any ideas. Um, and I really do mean any ideas. So not just for videos, if you kind of think, you know what, Rachel, it would be a good idea if you put up a blog on this. It would be great if you did a live feed on this. It would be great if you made a account on this particular website and we can go to this like any ideas at all that helps us to support each other i think is really important right now because it is very very difficult and again my biggest issue is obviously my eating disorder although that stems from the other issues um so that is what i know kind of most about but to use that as an example you know not being able to be weighed is bloody difficult um the possibility of GP blood tests being stopped, bloody difficult. Self-isolating when, you know, you can't hoard lots and lots of food because you might binge and you can't have nothing because then you won't eat. And managing to eat whilst there's nobody watching you. All these things are massive, massive, massive kind of difficulties and change and um, things that we can't control are already triggers in themselves. It's difficult time. It's very difficult time so I just think to be able to support each other 24 7 because ultimately you know to to feel completely alone in the situation 
24 7 will drive you mad and just to be able to even know that there are people out there that are going through the same thing and we're all supporting each other and trying to get through this together and survive to come out the other bloody side um is a way that we can support each other 24 7 without talking to each other 24 7 if that makes any sense at all so yeah please comment below let me know what you think and hopefully you will hear from me soon and hopefully i will hear from you soon and until then please make sure that you stay safe make sure you're washing your clothes in hot water um make sure that you're washing your hands all the blinking time i know it hurts um but don't forget that hand creams aren't suddenly dangerous you can you can put them on after you <laughs> wash your hands um but general you know just generally keep to the advice that you're being given and make sure that you're reading it from good sources don't overwhelm yourself with news and media go straight to the nhs website if you're in the uk go straight to your government's website go to those reliable sources friends and family are wonderful and if you have people who you know are helping you and supporting you then brilliant but make sure that you are going to those reliable sources as well because it can be very overwhelming to be terrified all the time by the way that the news and things are being um given so take care and keep going Bye-bye for now.